Hey, good to see all of you. Uh, while we're in lockdown and can't get out and around each other very much, sometimes the things we've been used to doing in ministry is really tough for us to do. One of the things we can do often is prayer walking. I don't know how much experience you have with prayer walking, so I thought I'd do a little demo version here. I'm here in downtown Fairfield. You can see behind me the Freestone County Courthouse. Say you're walking around downtown, wherever you are, and you see a courthouse, or, or you're driving by and you see a courthouse. Some of the things you can do to pray for that is you can pray for the people that work there. You can pray for the judges and court officials. You can pray for law enforcement. You can pray for the, the, the process of justice there. Let's take a moment and pray for the justice system in Freestone County. Father, I thank you so much that you are a God of justice, a God of righteousness, a God of holiness. I pray that you would have your way here in Freestone County, that you would give blessing and wisdom to those who administer it, to the judges, to the bailiffs, to the lawyers, uh, to all the courthouse employees, that you'd give them wisdom to know what to do and how to do it. And Lord, especially in this time of lockdown, when the courts are slowed down and not able to do what they need to do, we pray that you would deliver justice to people, that people wouldn't have to wait and wait and wait to receive justice to receive what is due them. And Lord, uh, we also think of the jail that's over there behind the courthouse. We pray that you would have mercy on the prisoners there. Lord, regardless of their guilt, regardless of their crime, have mercy on them. As they're there worrying about whether being in enclosed places, they're susceptible to the virus, uh, that you would protect them. And Lord, we pray for all those that work with them, for the sheriff and, and his employees and all the jailers, that you would give them mercy also that you would give them protection from the virus. See, those are some of the things we can do as we pray for what's around us. And if I turn around this way, you can see some of the businesses uh, across the street here. Uh, I see a couple of lawyers' offices. Uh, so let's pray for them. Father, we lift up the, the attorneys here in town in this area. We pray that you would bless them in their business. Help them to know how to connect with their customers, with their clients in a way that serves their needs. That, that brings them justice, that brings them relief, that helps them process the business that they need to do. Help them to have the income that they need to support their families and their employees. And then over here, uh, let's see if we can get to where we can see it. Uh, better go down this way a little bit. I'm not used to filming myself, but we are prayer walking, so it's okay to walk. Or walking by, I can see the lawn here needs cutting, and I'm sure they'll get to it soon. So we can pray for the yard workers. Lord, we take a moment and pray for those who do yard work and landscaping. Uh, I ask you to help them to make a good enough living to support themselves and their families. Help them with supplies they need. And, and Lord, as more people are stuck home, maybe doing their own lawns and saying they don't need the landscapers, give the landscapers the support they need to continue to support themselves. Okay, over here across the street from me, uh, it's a little bright here. There is a barber shop. Uh, if I were to take off my hat, you would see how much I need a barber. A barber shop. I need a haircut, and I know lots of other people are getting pretty shaggy. But I'm also concerned for the people that work there, for the people that normally cut my hair. So let's take a moment and pray for them. Father, we lift up the barbers that work in that shop, the people that expend of themselves cutting hair. It's really hard for them right now because they have a zero income. Uh, because of safety with the virus, they can't open up shop at all. It's not like they can be socially distanced uh, from people or do things online. An online haircut is not a haircut. Lord, give them the support they need to be able to pay their bills, to be able to feed their families, to afford their insurance, to take care of themselves. Uh, and Lord, I pray that you would bring deliverance to our community and to our country so that they can return to business and have the honor of supporting themselves again. Okay, that's praying for barbershop. Next door to the barbershop is the Fairfield, Texas Economic Development. That's something I pray for every time I walk by. So let's go over here and I'll stand in a way where I'm not being run over, where maybe you can see it behind me. Over here behind me, we see the Fairfield Economic Development. Father, we lift up the people who are working in economic development whether they are the people that specialize in that and are in that office day after day, or the people in city government and county government and state government that are working to bring businesses here. We pray that you would give them wisdom and insight 
that you would help them connect with and network with and build relationships with people that want to build their businesses here and bring their businesses here to Fairfield and Freestone County, that you would open up employment opportunities here so that people, when they graduate from high school and want a job, can find a job, or people, when they graduate here and go off to college and get a degree, they can come back and work here with their degree, or to open up the economic opportunities here in Fairfield and give our leaders wisdom to know what to do to make it uh, friendly to people that want to settle here and, and have businesses. Okay, so let's go over here. I'm going to see if I can cross the street without getting run over too much. Again, wherever we're walking, we can be praying. As we see cars driving by, we can pray for the people that are in the cars. That is easy to do. Occasionally in a small town like this, we'll know who they are, and we can pray for them by name, just as if we're out prayer walking our neighborhoods. We can pray for the houses of people that we know. We might know exactly who lives there. We might know specific needs that they have or things that we can be praying about. A lot of times we don't, and we just have to pray a general blessing. Okay, over here across the street behind me is the bank. This is Community National Bank. Now, banks are, are another entity, another business that we can be praying for. So let's take a moment and pray for this bank, and we'll make it a proxy for the other banks in our community. Father, we lift up Community National Bank. We pray for the people that work there, the people who are used to having customers come in all day, every day, and saying hello, or good afternoon, or good morning, used to interacting with people. And now they're not able to do that. And Lord, we pray for those in, in the banks here or around that might have been laid off because their services aren't needed anymore during lock-in, lockdown. We pray that you would take care of them, give them the means to take care of their families and to pay their bills. And Lord, we pray for our banks as a center of commerce of our local economy. Uh, I bet it's hard for them as they see people being unemployed, unable to pay their mortgages, pay off their consumer loans, and they're wondering how we're going to make it, how we're going to sustain our other customers. Lord, give them grace, give them wisdom at every level to know what to do and help us as citizens of the community know what we can do in the area of economic and financial activity so that we are being wise, not just for our, our own selves, our own families, but for our community. We need your wisdom, Lord. We need your power. Okay, uh, I'm going to walk back to the office now and turn this off, but just wanted to give you all an example of what it is to go prayer walking. Uh, as you walk around town or walk around a neighborhood, you can pray for anybody and anything. And one of the things you'll notice as you do it is that God will put people on your mind. God will bring things and people to your attention. It might be something that you see. It might just be an idea that pops up. And yeah, just take that as an occasion to pray. And uh, so... I will see y'all later, and thanks for praying with me.